our next guest is one of film and theater's most respected veterans, actress Geraldine Fitzgerald. She was born in Ireland, but now calls her home New York City. But recently she was out on the West Coast making a TV movie called Do You Remember Love? with Richard Kiley and Joanne Woodward. Well, welcome, Geraldine. Thank you very much. Now, this movie concerns Alzheimer's disease, yes. but puts a little bit of a twist to it. Yes, but in this case, it's the mother uh, who, who, I mean, uh, excuse me, it, it, in this case, it's the daughter who gets Alzheimer's and not the mother. Usually, it's, it's a considered disease that only strikes much, much older people, but, in this, but that's not true, and this, this picture shows that it can strike a young, younger person. Yeah, and I, and I think the more research we do on this, the more we're finding that, that this is indeed true. Yes. We have a little clip from the movie called Do You Remember Love? This is a movie with Geraldine Fitzgerald playing the mother, and in this clip, she is with her daughter, played by Joanne Woodward. Barbara, you put salt in the sugar bowl. Why would I do a thing like that? I don't know, dear, but I'm sure you didn't do it on purpose. Well, I'm sure I didn't do it at all. Well, it's no problem, dear. I can always have another cup of tea. Well, don't look at me like that. Don't you think I'm some kind of an oddball? Mm -hmm. Have you ever experienced Alzheimer's disease in your family or friends close to you? Uh, yes and no. Yes, because my mother had a certain kind of a stroke that injured her brain, and the symptoms were exactly like Alzheimer's. We thought for many years it was Alzheimer's. She had all mm -hmm. the symptoms. But then there was an investigation main trying to clear up her situation, and then it was found that would be a brain injury which mimicked these symptoms. So I know exactly what it, what it oh, felt like. Oh, absolutely. And have lived through it. I mean, to see somebody that you love uh, turn into an absolutely helpless person. Well, and the incredible thing is that you see the person, my mother had Alzheimer's disease oh, really? for 15 yeah. years really? before she died. And the incredible thing is to see this person, in my case, my mother, yes. who looked like my mother. Yes. But in a way, wasn't my no, mother. No, because didn't, they couldn't recognize yeah. me. My, my sister and I used to uh, got so upset because um, she didn't know who we were. And mind you, she, she my mother loved everyone because I say she didn't actually have Alzheimer's, which also yeah. introduces a feeling of a, a, a personality change. It makes people rather hostile. She never she never became that way, but she didn't love my sister and me as she had. She just loved us because we were part of humankind. She loved all. Mm -hmm. And that wasn't, we didn't, that made us very sad. Now, how does how does it develop in this movie, Geraldine? Is there any discussion of I mean, we know the Alzheimer's victim suffers, well, develops but it, there's so like much suffering on the part of, of the family. Yes, and in this case, the, uh, the husband uh, tries to keep it a secret from the family and tries to keep them out. And so it's, it's his gradual acceptance uh, of, of what it is and, why, and what he should do about it. And then the end of the picture, the family is allowed to participate, and that makes things much better for everybody, including the, the, the victim, Joanne. Yeah. Do you ever worry for yourself? I mean, you know what, we um, all forget things well, and... I, I, yes, I have, especially uh, at the time when I, when I thought that my mother had Alzheimer's. When, when I learned that she had not, I, I felt a little bit better about it. But I must admit that if I do forget things, I sometimes wonder if it could be that. And of course, like everybody, I do. Oh, I know. That's such yeah. an easy way to, to, <laughs> I know. to place blame. Look, from the uh, sublime into the more uh, pragmatic, is yes. it true that you have signed for Poltergeist 2? Yes. Oh, no, I haven't signed, but I believe I'm going to do it. Oh, and yeah? It seems to be all set, yes. Geraldine, yes. what are you going to be doing? I'm going to play uh, the, the grandmother. There hasn't been a grandmother in, in Poltergeist 1, as you may remember. Right. There wasn't. But now there is. Oh, are you looking forward to this? Oh, yes, terrifically. Did you see Poltergeist 1? Yes, I thought it was amazing. And, uh, and you're, not, you're not scared to be in a scary movie? Um, well, I don't know. I might be. Really. <laughs> I haven't had any experience. Because I, I haven't ever played in process before. Well, I was going to say, I mean... I don't know what... That looks so extraordinary on the screen, but I guess you're just in a studio, in fact. I yeah, I mean, I think you're used to playing with real people on a real stage in front of a real audience. Yes. Most of it. A lot of it, yes. No, it's, it's going to be a great adventure. You hey, Come on, you're always up to great adventures. <laughs> no, well, this will yes. be the first time with it. Okay, well, no. good luck with that. Thank and you. also, Do You Remember Love, which airs on Tuesday, May 21st on CBS. It's a... Uh, serious and important subject and we were glad to It's done in a very, very uh, amazingly exhilarating way by Joanne. You, yeah. you don't get any sense of docudrama. You get a sense of a real, okay. real well, occasion. Okay, well, we're glad you came and talked to us about it. And now here's Johnny Donovan with some important information for any Alzheimer's sufferers. 